Actress and activist Leah Remini is taking on the Church of Scientology today in a new lawsuit that accuses the church and its leader, David Miscavige, of years of stalking, harassment, surveillance, and even psychological torture. In her lawsuit, she compares some of Scientology's tactics to the mob. Our Giovanna Lara has the story. Celebrity Center is my second home, and there's not a person here that I can't go to. Leah Remini spent decades inside Scientology, joining the Sea Org at age 13, before later making it big on the hit sitcom King of Queens. Today, she is taking on the Church of Scientology and its leader, David Miscavige, in a new lawsuit that compares some of Scientology's practices, like suppressive persons and fair game, to old-school mob-style tactics. Remini alleges that since she publicly broke with Scientology in 2013, she has been under constant threat, stalked, surveyed, harassed, including what she calls a, quote, coordinated campaign to run and destroy her life and livelihood. In her lawsuit, she points to social media posts like these that she says are from accounts controlled by Scientology, one calling her an unhinged religious bigot, Another photoshopping a tattoo on her that says, I love rapists. It's over 200 coordinated accounts that Scientology yeah. is operating as we speak. Remini talked about what she refers to as church tactics to silence or punish critics on the YouTube channel Growing Up in Scientology in May. But the object of this is that we are silenced or muzzled, that we can no longer speak. And it's they're, psychological warfare, what they're, what they're, they're, they're it's, it's terror, it's psychological terrorism. Remini alleges Scientology has interfered with her ability to earn a living by harassing or defaming her to current or potential business partners, including A&E, Disney, and the Game Show Network. Each other there, good teamwork. All right, where would you like to go next? She also questions why Scientology is allegedly able to use tax-exempt church money to pay for private investigators. Well, he's filming me. Hired by church attorneys that she claims are used to survey and stalk critics and former members. Sorry, I'm with Squirrel Busters Production doing, a, doing an investigation on you and your squirrel technology. Scientology has not responded to our request for comment, but in the past has said that Remini promotes, quote, hatred and religious intolerance as a means to line her pockets. Remini says her disillusionment with Scientology started here in Italy in 2006 at Scientology's Wedding of the Year, the nuptials of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. David Miscavige was Tom Cruise's best man, but his wife, Shelley Miscavige, was nowhere to be found. Remini says she asked, where is Shelley? And for that, she says she was later punished at Scientology's spiritual headquarters in Florida. It was four months of psychological torture, she alleges, a Scientology ethics handling process known as the Truth Rundown. I was in an ethics program simply for asking where Shelley was. For years, punished for asking a question. One of the first things Remini did after leaving Scientology in 2013 was to file a missing persons report with the LAPD, asking again, where is Shelly Miscavige? This is enough. Where is Shelly? Ten years later, she's still asking that same question. Where is Shelly Miscavige? Scientology has said that Shelly Miscavige is living, quote, a private life, and the LAPD says it met with Shelly and Scientology attorneys back in 2013, and she was alive and safe. Well, again, that was Giovanna Lara reporting. Also, so far, the Church of Scientology has not responded to our request for an interview or statement. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.